Hello there and welcome back to How to Android Soundboard. In this video we're going to add our custom toolbar to our app but before we're going to do that we're doing some changes on our activity soundboard layout so we won't need the text view anymore and we're given the relative layout an ID because later on in this tutorial we will add a snack bar for example and for that one we will need the ID for this layout so we name it soundboard underscore layout or no, no I'm naming it, it activity layout so uh, soundboard <laughs> so sorry um, and I want to give it a color to Android background, uh, but I don't want to hard code that, so I'm going into the colors XML and define some new colors. Like I want a white for uh, the text later, and that has the color code of. Hashtag FFFFF. <laughs> and I want a light black for our toolbar. And a gray for our background. So you can take a look on this site, I will put it in the video description. There are a lot of things to learn about the material design. But yeah, just take a look and you can find a lot of colors here. And we're going on to our project. So, next thing we're going to do is yeah, <laughs> set in the background, finally. Color... Hmm. Add color. Why isn't there a color? Oh, that's because those are declared as items. <laughs> so, have to be colors. So. So, color. Come on, color. Great. I'm running that on my emulator. Well, there it is. Our app with the great background. And as you can see, there's already a toolbar included. But that's the standard toolbar. And when we want to add our uh, favorite icon here in the toolbar, the standard toolbar won't really support that. So we have to delete that one by going into our styles.xml and we can delete those color parameters with if we rerun that one. Yeah, we'll get just a dark action bar. And we don't need that one either. We want a no action bar. Well, um, let's just set a new style right away because we're splitting that up into uh, app theme base that will be the parent of app theme and has a parent of theme app combat light no action bar. App theme base. So, and we will define the color parameters of the action bar in the app theme base and all other things like later on the pop-up menu styles or the like, we will define that, those in the app theme. Um, so, when we're creating our uh, custom toolbar, and we will display that the text will be black by default 
and we don't want that so we're adding some items one with the na name color accent you won't really see that one but uh, later when we're adding the search view um, yeah there it will be a cursor and that one will have the color of the color accent but we want all to be white so just send that white and the text of the app bar it's shown here by default with the dog action bar it is already white but by default in the no action bar and uh, the custom <laughs> toolbar uh, it is black so we want to give it a color primary oh no text color primary that will all will be white too and we can copy that for three times so we want just every text in there to be white like text color primary inverse and text color secondary and text color secondary inverse so we don't have to focus on that anymore when we're creating our new action bar and to do that we will go into our layout folder click right mouse button add a new layout resource file we'll call that one toolbar and i forgot to show you the changes uh, we've made with the styles xml so there's no toolbar anymore it's just a great activity but to add the toolbar we ha will have to define a new toolbar and we can delete all lives but the first one the first one we need that for an xml file and we're defining a new um android support which seven widget toolbar and we're giving it some parameters like it it needs a width and i don't like this order so i'm putting it under there so we want the toolbar to go from the very left boundary to the very right boundary for that we are giving it a match parent width and it also needs a height and we we're just on Android that it should give it a rep content height. So that means it just scans the content and puts the height on yeah on a on a value that fits the content. But if we do that and the content is smaller than like than the normal action bar size the action bar display there wouldn't look really nice so we're giving it a minimal height of the action bar size and that's saved in an attribute called action bar size and we're also giving it a background and that one will be black so we define our toolbar but we also have to set it in the action bar layout so we're including something we're including a layout file from add layout toolbar and it will also get an id um soundboard underscore toolbar and yeah, we can rerun the app and see what changed. 
So we have our new app bar here, but the text isn't shown yet. That's because we have to implement the app bar in our code too. So go into Java, Soundboard Activity, and define a toolbar called Toolbar. And in the onCrate, we'll give that toolbar the I or define the toolbar by ID. Uh, find view by ID r dot ID dot soundbar toolbar, and we will set that as new support action bar. And when we and if we restart at one, we will get our new custom toolbar with the nice white text we want it to have. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. And now, bye bye.